another question I get asked a lot is, how about doing bulletproof coffee, keto bombs, add, adding fat in if you're doing some a ketogenic diet or an intermittent fasting regime? And there's actually a lot of, um, still a little bit of confusion about it in research, so it's not, um, we don't know it precisely, but what they think right now is that most likely while you are in the transition phase from a normal carb and sugar rich diet, which is what how most of us Westerners grow up, um, if you transition from that into a more of a ketogenic diet from time to time and you're trying to teach your body to burn fat for fuel, initially the, the cells might not be that well equipped to burn fat for fuel. And so you might get really hungry and tired. So initially it might be beneficial to add some fats into your morning coffee if you're fasting or overall throughout the day just a little bit more fats so that the body so that you don't crash in energy without increasing your carbs and protein which might not um, which might take you out of the ketogenic state however once your body knows how to use fat for fuel which is the end goal we want to be metabolically flexible so we can shift in and out of a ketogenic state we do not want to stay in a ketogenic state non-stop unless you have a certain health condition that might need that but again if you do it yourself at home make sure that you only do ketogenic diet and um, intermittently and also the fasting only intermittently because we need that up and down however once you're metabolically flexible and your body knows how to tap into its own fat stores for fuel research actually shows that you might not have to add all these extra fats um, and only just consume normal foods. You don't need to then, so initially you might be putting some coconut oil into your morning coffee or some butter even, blend it up, make a bulletproof coffee. And you can still do that later on um, if, you are, if it makes you feel really good, but make sure that you test your hormones and you test your cholesterol levels because some people have, a genetic, um, have genetic mutations and for them it actually makes their cholesterol increase if they have too much fat overall the whole time, or if they have, um, it will increase their sex hormones. So in some people it might jump up their estrogen levels, which if you have enough, it's great. You need that for libido, good hair, radiance, fertility. For men it's important too. But if you have too much, then that could lead to um, excessive growth inside the body and we don't want that. So that could be cysts or cancers, or um, it might also I contribute to anxiety, lots of things, PMS that we don't really want. So we want to make sure that everything stays level. So initially, while you're transitioning, you can have some extra fats while you are fasted, and then you can slowly wean yourself off and just have a little bit. So I, like I said before in a different video, I like to have a, a, an organic coconut milk because it has a little bit of fat, so it gives me my body that signal in the morning that the circadian clock can start and but I get a little bit of energy without going into um, out of the keto state without giving it too much of different fats. And then for the rest of the day, I just like to eat a normal balanced diet, vegetables, protein, sprinkle a bit of olive oil over it, try and cook with butter and um, coconut oil because they're better heat resistant. So they're better for cooking and frying on lower heats. So I just use them in my normal food rather than slashing tons on top because that might not be ideal. However, if you are testing your hormones and you're more on the side of actually being low on hormones, your menopausal, um, you might want, it might be okay for you to continue just adding extra fat, you have, but that's really individual. Um, and the morning coffee, you could continue with your coconut oil and butter, but make sure that you test your levels and see if that is turning into a problem. Mm -hmm.